everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice and I make all sorts of videos like crafty stuff and sometimes horse videos. Anyway, today I'm going to do a horseware haul. So I went to a large equestrian shop yesterday and I spent a lot of money. So I thought it might be interesting for you to see what I purchased. So at the moment I parked alone a pony. He's about 14 to hands and I ride him three times a week. So I don't really need to buy stuff like food because the owner pays for that. So I'm just I just bought a few things today. I mean, I've been um, part loaning him for six months. Uh, so when I first started part loaning him, they said he needed new reins. So I bought these ones. They were twenty four ninety nine, and I know you can get cheaper ones, but these are like properly flexible. Because I saw, saw other ones for £14 on eBay, but I know that's sometimes cheap leather. Anyway, so these are the Whittaker brand, which is meant to be good. And they're full size, because although he is a cob, or he's still technically a pony, at the moment he's got full size range, so I thought these would be good. But I'm going to check anyway before I cut all the labels off, just in case. Anyway, so I'm pleased with these. They're 16mm thick and they're nice and grippy. It says they're self oiling as well. I don't know what that means. Self oiling. Okay, the next thing I purchased was this. They didn't have any of the Car and Day and Martin one, but I bought this one from Lincoln. So it's just a bar of glycerine bar soap for cleaning leather work, and it was £5.50. So there it is. I might need to find a container for it. Like a little plastic tupperware. Cleans, conditions, maintains and protects. It's very traditional. You know, I've used this sort of thing for most of my riding life. It's quite nice and cheap. It lasts ages. Uh, and the next thing I bought was a metal curry comb. So this is from the Shires brand and it was £4.50. Basically. Wooden, red wooden handle, metal bit here, and then I also bought a new body brush to go with this, and this is also Shires, I think, yeah, easy green from Shires, well I bought it because it was purple, which I like, and we had, some of the hands were actually really big, and I bought, didn't want to spend like £17 on a body brush, but this one was only £4.50, because he's so dusty at the moment, he's got a full clip, and he is very dusty, so I was like, buy these, try and get them a bit more cleaner. Yes, yeah, so I'm pleased with these two items. And then another thing I got was a complimentary water bucket. Nice handle. Big. It's got measurements. 14 litres. Huh, what I've always needed, a bucket. bucket. And then the main most expensive purchase of the day were these Ariat Long Heritage Contour Boots. So I'll open them up. Yeah. So it's got this Ariat plastic protective thing. And then here are the boots. So there's a little bit of elastic down here, and the zips are very strong point up put this down. So in the shop I couldn't put the zips, but I need to practice. Uh, yeah, so I thought I was quite tall, I'm five foot six. But I these are the short length. And I even had to get heel raises as well. But she said they're going to drop after I've worn them a bit. Yes, yeah, so they come with the uh, boot tree things. So this is short length and slim calf. They've got a spur. What's this called? Spur nobble. Good grips. Elastic for extra stretch. And I'm so pleased with them. So I'm going to wear them in a bit at home before I start riding in them. Yeah. So this is my first ever pair of long riding boots and I have been riding 
for 19 years, maybe 20 years. Yes, and I finally got my first pair of riding boots. So these are like an early birthday present to myself, and I've also justified it in other ways. Like if you have more riding boots, you're less likely to break your ankle. Yeah, I th I've thought of about 10 reasons why I needed more riding boots. Because they are an expensive purchase. These were 400, no, not 400, these were 270 pounds. Like I could have just bought some new gaiters. But I'm so, so pleased with these. I'm going to show you what they look like on now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And that's it. If you want, you can subscribe. Bye.